What is up you guys? Welcome back to my channel and welcome if you are new. If you are new here, definitely hit the subscribe button down below and stay tuned for all the videos that we have on this channel. We have so much fun around here and I post new videos every single week on Sunday. So there's a lot of content to explore. <laughs> oh my God. So in today's video, I am going to show you guys what is in my like Invisalign pouch, if you will. I have Invisalign, as you can see, and I'm actually almost done with it. And I have a video all about the entire process from start to finish. It's going to have my progress every single week, my before and afters, my thoughts and feelings on the whole process. And that's going to be coming soon once I completely finish with having Invisalign. But today I thought I would share with you what I carry around in my purse every single day that revolves around and relates to my Invisalign and taking care of my teeth. So I figured this might be helpful if you are watching this because you're going to get Invisalign soon, you're thinking about getting it or you already have it and you want to see, you know, someone else's perspective. So I hope this is helpful and we're just going to get started. So I did not prep for this video, meaning I am about to pull my Invisalign pouch out of my purse and I don't know what's in it and I am just going to show you literally everything in there and I want to tell you what was worth spending money on and what wasn't. So let's do it. In my purse I always have this pouch, it's so cute I thrifted it, um, has little tassels on it and I just thought it was cute, it's black leather, um, the pouch is irrelevant, you can put this in anything, but mine's kind of big and it's full so let's dive in. This is what my Invisalign pouch looks like filled with crap um, and I'm just about to dump it in front of me and go through each item so okay oh we have a lot of things going on here first of all my most used item which is this so I have an old toothbrush not old but one of the toothbrushes that I got for free and never used for my teeth and a bottle of mouthwash so what I do with this is every morning when I wake up I take out my Invisalign I have my coffee and I brush my teeth and then after that um, before I put the Invisalign back, back in my mouth, I clean it. There's a lot of different ways you can clean your Invisalign. This is my preferred method. It's worked so well for me and it's perfect. I have a travel mouthwash bottle, which I've just been refilling from a bigger mouthwash bottle just because the travel one's easier to manage. I pour this into the little aligner tray and then I scrub it with this toothbrush and then I rinse them. So this is how I clean my aligners every morning in this method swear by it i love it this is the easiest way i found to clean my liner so this is definitely worth having in my pouch every day and i use it every day now for times when you're in a pinch i have another aligner cleaning method that my mom found that i find really interesting so i have some boxes of these upstairs but these are um invisalign cleaning wipes so these are called aligner care from crest orthodontic appliance cleaner and they say quick cleaning for aligners, retainers, and mouth guards. So it's not often that I have to use these, but sometimes, for instance, if I'm running late in the morning and I literally have to leave the house, don't have time to wash my aligners from the night, and I'm like drinking a coffee or whatever, I can grab these, and then when I'm on my way to where I'm going or when I get where I'm going, I can clean the aligner with this, and it's literally a wet wipe for your aligners. So this is not my preferred method of every day, but when you're in a pinch, I find these really useful. And I think that these were definitely worth buying. I don't use them a lot, so I will say like one box has gone plenty far for me. Like I don't need more than that, but they're super nice and I would definitely recommend them if it sounds like something you'd like to try. So wet wipes for your liners. Okay, next things we have. First, I have my wax. So if you don't have Invisalign yet or if you've not used wax, so these are little wax sticks. I hope you can see them. And when I first got my aligners, I was using these a lot. I haven't touched them since the first month of having aligners, but I have these little dots on my teeth to hold the rubber bands. So there's these little hooks that you hook the rubber bands onto, and they kind of touch the top of your mouth and the bottom of your mouth, like inside your lip area. And at the very beginning when my mouth wasn't used to having these, it would tear my inside of my lip and it would hurt so bad. So what you can do is break off a tiny piece of wax, roll it into a little ball and just press it over the hook and it just stays on there. And I was using that every day after every meal I was putting the wax back in and just having it there because it creates a barrier between your hook and your mouth and it is so much more comfortable. So this is worth having, but I didn't pay for this. My orthodontist gave me this when I got my liners. So I found this super useful at the beginning, but I have not used this in months. Next thing, this is also from my orthodontist, so I didn't buy this. I mean, 
you guys, I paid my orthodontist, so I paid for all of this. But these are the things that came with my trays when I got them. This is my Invisalign case. I just have a black one. You can definitely go on Amazon and get like cuter ones or whatever, but this is what they gave me. Totally fine with it. This is what it looks like. And this just holds your liners. I don't use it a ton. Um, if I go to a restaurant and I'm about to eat, I'll take out my liners and put them in here. And then when I get home or afterwards, I will rinse them with water and just put them back in after brushing my teeth. So super useful and I use it a lot. Okay, next thing is pretty useful. And this has been one of my best purchases when it comes to my Invisalign. 10 out of 10 recommend these. I show these to a lot of people in my life and they love using them as well. So these are the Colgate Wisp Max Fresh Little Wispy Toothbrushes. This is what they look like. So these are amazing and I actually have one in a baggie which is kind of looks weird. But like I said, I did not plan for this video. I just opened the pouch and this is what was in there. So I'll take this one out and I'll show you. The reason I have one in a baggie is because if I switch from my big purse to my fanny pack, I'll bring less Invisalign things. So here's what this little wispy toothbrush looks like. Okay, so you can see that this end here is kind of like a toothpick and then this end over here is like a toothbrush. The blue circle in the middle is a toothpaste kind of thing. So once you start brushing your teeth with this, it'll mix with your saliva. I know that sounds gross. And then it turns into like a teeth cleaning solution. So you can actually use this to brush your teeth without water. So this has been huge. I use these so often. For instance, if I'm eating something in the car or while I'm driving, I can use these to brush my teeth and feel okay about putting my aligners back in um, without having like access to a sink. They're great for at restaurants if the bathroom's not accessible or not great to brush your teeth in, etc. So anytime that you're in a pinch, you can use a wisp and you don't need water to do it. So these are huge. This is my number one recommendation when it comes to Invisalign. Next thing in my pouch, floss. And then I also just have toothpaste and a toothbrush. This is one of those folding toothbrushes that I just got at Target. And it's awesome. I use this to brush my teeth um, when I'm out and about. So if I like have a sink with water and I'm at like my parents' house, for instance, I'll just use my toothbrush and toothpaste. I've probably never used the floss that's in here. I usually just floss at night before bed when I'm at home. But if I'm traveling, I have it and it's super nice. So those are essentials that I definitely recommend having. And we only have a few more things. So these are my Invisalign bags. So I'm not going to show you them, but it is what your little teeth aligner trays come in. A little plastic bag. And I keep the one that I have in and then my next set of trays with me at all times, especially if I'm traveling and I need to do like a little scan on my teeth um, while I'm traveling somewhere, I'll have the next trays in case I need to put them in. Okay, more things from the orthodontist. First, I have this chapstick, which I'm realizing now that I've never opened. I will say I use chapstick a lot, but not the one from my orthodontist. So I just have that. And then this is an essential. You need these, you guys. So I have my little aligner chewies and my rubber band. So let's get into it. If you don't have Invisalign yet, you might not know what a chewy is, but the ones that I got from my orthodontist with my package or whatever is this. This is what it looks like. So this is the Chewy. It's just a little rubber silicone type thing that you chew on. So the point of these is when you put your trays in, they don't always click right into place or get as high up and as tight on your teeth as they should um, without having something to push them there. So you use this and you just chew on it and that kind of pushes your aligners into place. Some people also say that this helps with pain. I haven't really had that as an issue um, and I haven't really used this to relieve pain, but I use it to just kind of push my aligners up onto my teeth and make sure they're really on there. So I just keep them in the baggie from the orthodontist that they gave it to me in um, and I have those. And then I have my rubber bands. So I have the rabbit rubber bands, which are really, really small. I can show you what one looks like. They're super, super tiny and really tight. And that is what I have here to align my jaw. So these are used for a jaw alignment, at least in my case. And this is how small they are right there okay i don't know if you guys could see that but they're so tiny like they're the tiniest little rubber bands and that's what i wear in the front to align my jaw like i said so i have two packs of my rabbit rubber bands i go through these because i throw them away every time i eat and get new ones um i don't think i need to do that but i just feel gross about it and they come with my plan and i get them like for free from the orthodontist so i just throw them away and use new ones each time and then two more items so i have Advil and Tylenol. These are from like the travel sized aisle at like Target or Walmart or any grocery store that has travel things. They're travel sized Advil and Tylenol. 
I haven't even opened the Tylenol it looks like so I haven't been using that and I use the Advil like once or twice there are times when I first got my Invisalign that I didn't even want to open my mouth like it was really hard in the beginning because I wasn't used to it and a lot of people said that that's common I just didn't realize how bad it was going to be so at the beginning I sometimes had to take Tylenol or Advil to relieve the pain I didn't use it a lot and it's not my preferred method but there were times when it was so hard to even sleep at night I would wake up in the night with pain in my mouth so that's when I was using these so these are another thing kind of like um, at the beginning how I said with the wax there's something I haven't used in months so I definitely recommend having them in case of emergency in case you need it but not something that I commonly use and then the last thing is something that is a regretful purchase of Invisalign. This is something I wish I didn't buy because I honestly never use it, but this is called Pull, P-U-L. I bought two of these, like a little two pack. I have a pink one and a blue one. And this is something that you can put your finger through it and then you can hook it on your Invisalign in your mouth and use it to take out your Invisalign. The reason I don't use this is because I don't need it. I use like my nail. I just put my finger in my mouth and pull them out. And getting this out feels like an extra step that feels unnecessary. So. That's the reason I don't use Pole. They're not a bad product, it's a good product. And like, if you don't like putting your hands in your mouth, then maybe this would be great for you. Or if you have a harder time getting it because you don't have nails or something to like really grab the Invisalign with, this might work for you. For me, this was just kind of a waste of money. So this is something that I kind of regret buying for Invisalign. Anyway, that is everything that was inside of my little Invisalign pouch, which by the way, I wanna show you guys. Look how cute the inside is. It has this cute, pretty pattern on the inside. So I just love this pouch. Shout out to Ohio Thrift where I bought this from. But yeah, anyway, that was a little tangent. That is it for what's inside my Invisalign pouch. The things that I love using, the things that I regret buying, and the things that are useful sometimes. So I hope this helped. Definitely comment down below if you have any video requests of any kind or if you want to see other Invisalign content or if you have questions for me about my experience, um, if you're going into it or you want to think about going into Invisalign, I will say I highly recommend name brand Invisalign. I looked at other providers like Smile Direct Club, like Bite, and I think they're really cool, but I really appreciated choosing Invisalign, going to an orthodontist. And if you guys want to hear more about that, definitely let me know. I will do a video all about it. Um, so far, I'm loving my experience. I'm almost done, to be honest. I only have them since April and I might be getting them done in August, maybe September, it just depends, um, but I'll keep you guys posted in my other video. Like I said, my full experience is coming soon on a video on YouTube, and yeah, that's it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed. Subscribe down below. Lots of new fun content coming, and I will see you guys next week. Bye! <laughs> oh my god!